Cube Studios in Palo Alto and Boston, connecting with thought leaders all around the world. This is a Cube Conversation. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the Cube's coverage of the virtual Vertica BDC Big Data Conference. It was, of course, going to be in Boston, but now we're covering it online. It's really a pleasure to invite back Joy King. She's the Vice President of Product and Go-to-Market Strategy at Vertica. She also manages marketing and education programs. Joy, great to see you. It's great to be back as always, Dave, thank you. Let's talk about uh, BDC, virtual BDC. We took a, we took a break. Uh, we, the Cube has been at every big data conference. I, I love that show, great customers, awesome buzz, great outside speakers. I was actually had the pleasure of being up on stage with some, some database experts, of which I'm not, but I'm a, you know, <laughs> inch deep in my wide. <laughs> So, and that was a lot of fun, you know, going head yep. to head with, with some of the folks and, and just really a great vibe uh, over that conference. But so now you had to make the decision because of the coronavirus to go, go digital. You didn't delay. And I love the fact that you guys lean right in. You've got all this content. So talk about what we can expect at BDC. Well, you know, Dave, the BDC is really special. And I have to give Colin Mahoney, our GM, the credit for the idea. Sometimes his ideas are really good and the execution can be, well, challenging. But when we started the BDC, he had an idea. He said, you know, we have such a passionate community. We need to get them together. We need like a user group. Well, that user group for the first BDC was the first and only event I have ever been responsible for where, yes, it's true, we exceeded the fire code of the venue and we had more people that registered than we were allowed to accept. That's never happened before. It's because the passion was so real. We made a commitment. We said the only people that could speak at the BDC were engineers who architected and write the code and customers who use the code. We were determined to keep the technical credibility, the value of best practices, the sharing among the community. Marketing was responsible for appropriate amounts of coffee and alcohol at the appropriate times. But today, that is still why the BDC is so special. Now I have to tell you, we have been somewhat limited in our ability to confirm coffee, alcohol, et cetera, in the virtual BDC, but we are still true to our mission. The people that, that will be speaking for these during the sessions that we have and for all of the recordings that we will do in addition after we complete the live BDC, are engineers and architects who design and write the code, hands on the keyboard, and customers who use Vertica to power their businesses every day. That's the rule. Some people don't like it, but that's how we play. Well, and to your point, we've, and we've interviewed a number of your customers, and I and, uh, can second that. I mean, the, the, the database engineers are proud to put Vertica in their title. Uh, they, yes. they embrace it. They love to train people and get adoption going. So that's awesome. Let's talk about the sort of logistics of the, the BDC, the virtual BDC. Uh, Tuesday, uh, March 31st, and, uh, and then the next day, April 1st, you've got keynotes, you've got breakouts, and of course, we've got the Cube. After the keynotes, we'll be doing Cube coverage for two days wall-to-wall -wall coverage of uh, virtual BDC. And to your point, and I think this is, this is a nuance that I think people are going to learn with digital, is there's a post event that really is going to continue that engagement with your, your community. Th that's right. You know, as much as I, as I, as everybody knows, there's nothing that replaces face-to-face -face interaction. There are advantages to the virtual world. First of all, people are getting pretty creative, I got to say. And second, it gives global reach to people who would have loved to come to the BDC, but couldn't. They couldn't travel, there were restrictions, you know, they were busy with other things. So yes, all day Tuesday and all day Wednesday, after the keynote on Tuesday will be two parallel tracks, and this is East Coast time, um, from US East Coast time on Tuesday afternoon, and then two parallel tracks all day Wednesday. And then on Thursday, in addition to all of those webinars, all of those sessions being available on demand, we are also right now recording additional sessions because we just didn't have enough slots, but we had more speakers, both customers and engineers that wanted to, and all of that will be available on the BDC website on Thursday and beyond. 
And we're going to continue with two webinar series that make that we're very proud of. One is called Under the Hood, which is technical webinars. And the other is called Data Disruptors. And those are the customers that love to tell their stories. And that, in parallel with ongoing CUBE interviews, will keep the energy all the way up until March, late March of 2021, when we have already confirmed the next live BDC. Awesome, so go to vertica.com slash BDC 2020, register, you got to register to see the keynotes. It's lightweight registration, it's not a yeah. hundred fields, nope. so we, we, we want you to come in. And then of course the cube.net uh, is going to be covering uh, the, the cube interviews and siliconangle.com will have editorial joy. Looking forward to it. Thanks so much for giving us the update and uh, we'll see you online. It will be a pleasure. See ya. Bye. And we'll see you. Thank you, everybody. And go, like I say, go register again. It's vertica.com slash BDC 2020. This is Dave Vellante for theCUBE and we'll see you at the virtual Vertica Big Data Conference. Mm -hmm.